Hey guys, I wanted to do a short video on how to maintain or how to achieve a over how to overclock the uh, sorry about the shaky, I have it on a tripod on how to overclock the um, AMD FX 8320 to 4.3 gigahertz so let me show you how to do that the board I am using I believe sorry um, is a eight is a uh, Asus M5A 97LE 2.0. It's on the newest BIOS. I recommend upgrading to the newest BIOS just because you'll have stability and full support. Okay, what you need to do now is you need to go to uh, shutdown. Okay, and sorry for my loud fan. I have an aftermarket fan on my cooler. Okay, no. Start it back, start it up, and just push delete until you are are greeted to the BIOS. Okay. Here we go. Now push um I believe yeah. F7 to get into advanced mode. Okay. What we're going to be doing now is uh, let me um just save it. And then Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to reset everything to default. Okay, F5. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to AI Tweaker. First, I want you to go to uh, Advanced and go here. One second. I need to... I want you to go to Advanced and Enable and Disable all the, the options that I have set here. Okay, now go to here and set your AI overclock tuner to manual. You just go from auto down to manual. Sorry, the tripod's a bit goofy. It's actually mounted to my desk. Um, and then put your ratio to 21.5. Disable this. Disable the uh, AMD turbo core. Uh, your bus speed to 200 PCIe go put that at auto never change that because you will have issues and then this is this is all depends on your system I have a 1333 megahertz uh, uh, RAM so I'd recommend not overclocking your RAM just for stability you can always go back and do it if you if you choose to but I would recommend I would never recommend anyone to overclock your RAM because overclocking RAM is a little bit more difficult than uh, overclocking the CPU because it may need different it, it it's a little bit more tedious. So I recommend just keeping it at your stock clock. Uh, CPU slash Northbridge frequency uh, 2.2 uh, uh, eight hyper thread or HT link speed 2.4 okay now click on now turn this off and then put that on auto put this on disabled if it's not already um, and then put your uh, and put this put these two make sure these two things are set to auto and then your north your CPU slash north bridge uh, voltage offset mode and then put this at uh, this will be set to here auto and then just push uh, control oops uh, shift uh, control shift and then put that and then push the plus button until you get to uh, 0 0.025000 I'm pretty sure you can't see that let me actually see if I can zoom you can see that now okay and then just leave everything else at auto. Ok. 
Okay. And then here, here are my timing settings. I have set so you can change yours. I have seven, 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 eighteen, and then everything else is on auto. So, and then after you do that, you will achieve. I recommend rebooting back into BIOS, into the BIOS, so that you can uh, just make sure your settings are working, and it will boot and everything. And then after you do that, you'll be able to boot into your operating system. And you should be able to uh, boot back into your operating system and have your stable 4.3 gigahertz overclock. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more tech videos. I know I've been doing uh, a bunch of uh, I, I know I did four uh, Doom 3 videos. I just wanted to mix up content a little bit, but whatever. I'll continue to play the game if you want to see if anyone wants to still see it, but whatever. Sorry. I'm burping. Um but yeah, uh just subscribe, like the video if you like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh subscribe if you want to see some more videos. Uh and comment down b below if what your overclock you've achieved on the same board and your settings and in and if you need any help just ask. So yeah, but uh, thank you for watching.